Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have been given this uh, interesting uh, Olympiad uh, math problem. If uh, x plus 1 divided by x equals to square root of 3, now we are going to find the value of x power 1000 plus 1 divided by x power 1000. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And now since we are dealing with this uh, big power of uh, x, so therefore we are going to be creative and think uh, outside the box and we're going to manipulate uh, these uh, equations. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus uh, on this uh, very first uh, equation. And here I have copied it down and now let's go ahead and take the square on uh, both uh, sides of this equation. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab. We are going to apply this uh, formula on the left uh, hand side. So the left hand side uh, could be written as uh, x square plus uh, 1 divided by x square plus uh, 2 times x times 1 divided by x equals to and here the square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with just 3 and here we can see x and this uh, 1 divided by x they are uh, gone so we simply ended up with uh, x square plus uh, 1 divided by x square plus uh, 2 equals to 3 and now let's subtract uh, 2 from both sides this is gone so therefore our x square plus uh, 1 divided by x square value turns out to be simply 1. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, very first equation uh, once again. And here I have copied down once again. And this time we are going to take the cube on uh, both sides of this uh, equation and now let's recall another famous identity a plus b whole cube could be written as uh, a power 3 plus b power 3 plus 3 times uh, a b times a plus b we are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side so the left hand side could be written as uh, x power 3 plus uh, 1 divided by x power 3 plus 3 times uh, x times uh, 1 divided by x times x plus 1 divided by x equals to now let's focus uh, on the right hand side and here i have copied it down so let's go ahead and manipulate this thing this could be written as so therefore this right hand side has been uh, simplified to this uh, 3 times square root of 3 so the right hand side is going to become 3 times uh, square root of 3 and now we can see this x and 1 divided by x is gone and now let's focus on inside this parentheses x plus 1 divided by x is square root of 3 so i'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 over here so therefore we can write uh, x power 3 plus uh, 1 divided by x power 3 plus uh, 3 times uh, I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 equal to on the right hand side we got 3 times square root of 3 as well. Now let's go ahead and subtract 3 times square root of 3 from both sides. This is gone and this is gone as well. So therefore our x power 3 plus 1 divided by x power 3 value turns out to be 0. And now let's go ahead and examine uh, this uh, equation x power 3 plus 1 divided by x3 equal to 0. And here I have copied it down and we can see we got a fraction over here. Let's go ahead and remove that fraction by multiplying by x power 3 across the board with each and every term. And now we can see x power 3 times x power 3 is going to give us uh, x power 6 plus uh, this x power 3 and x power 3 is uh, gone so we ended up with only 1 equal to 0 times uh, x power 3 is going to give us a 0 on the right hand side let's move this uh, one on the right hand uh, side 
So therefore, our x power 6 value turns out to be negative 1. Let me call this our equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, x power 1000. And here I have copied down x power 1000. And now let's go ahead and tweak uh, its exponent uh, 1000. I can write uh, 1000 2 minus 2. So therefore this could be written as x power 1000 2 minus 2. And now let's recall this uh, quotient rule of exponents. We're going to apply it on the right hand side. This could be written as x power 1002 divided by x power 2. And now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, 1002. This could be written as 6 times 100 67. So therefore this numerator part could be written as x power 6 times 167 divided by x power 2. And now let's recall this uh, power rule of exponents. Uh, whenever we have these nested exponents uh, we can multiply them out. So we are going to apply this rule uh, on this uh, numerator. So therefore the numerator part is going to become uh, x power 6 uh, and then uh, whole power 167 all over x square. And now let's focus on this uh, x power 6. Uh, we already figured out uh, the value of x power 6 is equal to negative 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this x power 6 by negative 1 over here. So therefore we are going to write uh, negative 1 power 167 all over x square. And now we can see that this uh, 167 is an odd uh, exponent. So therefore negative 1 power odd number is always going to give us uh, negative 1. So therefore this whole thing uh, turns out to be negative 1 divided by x square. So therefore we can see that this x power 1000 turns out to be equal to negative 1 divided by x square. As you can see over here, let me call this as our equation number 3. Now let me go ahead and tweak the left hand side. This x power 1000 could be written as x power 1000 divided by 1. Now let's go ahead and flip around uh, both sides of this equation. So this is going to become 1 divided by x power 1000 equals to, I'm going to flip this one over as well. So this is going to become x square divided by negative 1. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and figure out the value of uh, this uh, x power 1000 plus 1 divided by x power 1000. And here I have copied down this uh, expression and we know x power 1000 equals to negative 1 over x square from equation 3. And likewise 1 divided by x power 1000 is negative x square from equation 4. So let's go ahead and substitute those values. So this is going to become negative 1 over x square plus and then negative x square over here. And this could be written as negative 1 over x square and here negative time positive is negative x square. And here we can factor out this uh, negative sign. So therefore this could be written as negative outside and this is going to be x square plus 1 divided by x square. But we know our x square plus 1 divided by x square value is 1 from this uh, equation 1. So we are going to replace uh, this part uh, by 1. So therefore this could be written as negative times 1. So that is going to be equal to negative 1. So therefore we can see that x power 1000 plus 1 divided by x power 1000 turns out to be equal to negative 1. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be negative 1. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.